4-H camp is a blast. I think 4-H camp is cool. The most awesome experience of your life. 4-H camp is awesome and really fun. While at camp, you'll take an educational journey participating in hands-on tracks like science, engineering, and technology, water safety, outdoor skills, nutrition, and much, much more. I think it was one of the most fun experiences I've ever had in my whole entire life. 4-H camp is life-changing. So 4-H camp is an amazing, one-of-a-kind experience that you'll definitely want to have. 4-H camp is awesome. Hi, I'm Jeremy Bonnet, the Louisiana 4-H Virtual Summer Camp Program Set Track. Coming to you today from Camp Grant Walker inside of the Martin Building. Now, so far in our virtual set activities, we've looked at a variety of topics. We started out with tower designs, worked through a few of those. We recently looked at water filters and paper chromatography. Today's activity, we're looking at investigating parachutes, a completely different topic. So in today's activity, our topic is parachutes. Now, the purpose of a parachute is to carry you safely to the ground when you are traveling through the air from a great height. And the parachute works because of a variety of forces that are at play. When you jump out of an airplane with a parachute attached to you, what happens is you've got gravity that's pulling you down to the earth. As you travel through the air toward the ground, you have the air molecules that surround you. And those are pushing up on you. It creates a frictional force. It slows you down. But because your surface area of your body is not very large, it doesn't slow you down enough. So you continue to travel faster and faster to the ground because of gravity. When you open the parachute, what happens is that chute opens and it creates a very large surface area. And because the surface area is so large, now the air molecules have a larger place to hit, creates a greater air resistance, a greater frictional force, and it allows you to slow down your descent enough to a safe speed. So without that parachute and those forces at play, you wouldn't survive, probably, the landing to the ground. Now, in your activity sheets, go ahead and take a minute, pause the video, read over the quick explanation section at the bottom of page one, and then on page two, you have some pre-activity questions. Take a few minutes, answer those. After you've answered those, hit play and we'll continue. Now that you've had a chance to answer your pre-activity questions, let's take a look at the materials that we'll need for this activity. Now this can be found at the top of page three on your activity sheet. So you're gonna need a few things here. Uh, a plastic bag, garbage bag that is sturdy. Okay? Uh, it will be cut to a 14 inch square size. You'll need a ruler, tape measure, something to measure with, some string, a pair of scissors, some masking tape, a paper clip, and either a little Lego figure or perhaps a little metal washer, something that has a little bit of weight to it. looked at our materials, let's go ahead and take a look at the steps involved in making our parachute. This can be found in your activity sheets on page three. So the objective of this lesson again, is to build a parachute that will safely, safely land a Lego figure when you drop from a height of eight feet at least. So to build your parachute, you want to take your plastic bag 
and cut it out to 14 inches square. So 14 inches on all sides. Next, you wanna place your masking tape on each corner of the plastic bag. You wanna take in those corners and punch a hole through each of the four corners through the masking tape and through the bag. Uh, next, you wanna take your string and measure four pieces that are 10 inches long. Okay, so you need to cut four pieces 10 inches long. You want to tie one end of the string to each corner. So one piece of string per corner. The other end of the four strings, you'll tie to the paper clip. Okay. So four pieces of string will be tied to the paper clip. Next, you want to take a piece of masking tape and wrap it around the strings just above the paper clip. So where you have it tied to the paper clip, you'll wrap a piece of masking tape around the strings to hold it in place. And then the final thing you'll want to do is attach your Lego figure to your paper clip. Now, once you have that constructed, then we'll test it. So go ahead and pause the video now, construct your parachute. After you've done that, hit play, and we'll look at one and test it out. Now that you've had a chance to go through the steps, build your parachute. Let's take a look at one that I've built and we'll test it out. Now a few tips for you uh, with your parachute design. On the corners uh, it's easier if you take your tape and fold it over the edges first, punch your hole through, and then pass the string through the hole and tape it instead of tying. And you may be able to get it to work okay with tying it, but it's a lot easier just to tape it securely, okay? When you have your other end of your string, um, again, it says to tie it to the paper clip, but you may find it easier to take the four ends of the string, get them even with each other, loop them through the paper clip, and then tape them with the masking tape around that loop, and that'll hold it securely. Okay. Um, then you may have your uh, Lego figure that you can tape onto your paper clip. Makes it a lot easier to secure it. Now here we've selected a, the appropriate Lego figure. Uh, if you can see his face. So this one is good for us to test with. So what we wanna do now is go up the bleachers. I'm gonna go to the highest point and drop it down to test it. Now that's about a height of 10 to 11 feet. You wanna do at least eight feet. So you'll probably need a ladder, uh, something like that. Make sure you have an adult's help with that, okay? So let's test it out. Okay, so when you drop it, you want to make sure that the lines are not tangled and twisted and you want to hold it from uh, the middle of the parachute itself okay. and then hold it and drop it okay okay so that worked very well now the other thing that we want to test out, after you're able to drop it a few times and make sure that it safely lands, slow landing, okay, what we want to do is hold the parachute like you're getting ready to drop it. Okay? And at the very top of that peak, we want to cut a tiny hole in the middle. Okay? So we'll take our pair of scissors and we will cut a very small piece off of the top. Okay. It'll end up being smaller than the, the, the head of an eraser on a pencil. Okay. So 
to a very small opening. And what this will do is it will mimic an actual parachute design because with those big parachutes, they have a, an opening in the top, in the middle, that allows the air to flow through a little easier and it keeps the parachute more balanced and able to stay inflated better, okay? So you can see here, I've cut my little hole, okay? It's just a very small section. And now we wanna test it out again to see if there's any difference in how it drops, okay? So let's check it out. All right, so again, we wanna make sure our lines are not tangled, that everything is even. We wanna hold it up and drop it. All right. All right, so we can see that there was not a lot of difference between the two drops. The first drop, it fell a little more straight down. This one kind of moved off a little bit. Uh, now that may have been due to a little bit of air movement inside the building, um, but it was still a good controlled descent. Uh, the parachute opened up fully. So this is something that you would want to test out a few times uh, to make sure that you get the same results. Now, go ahead and pause the video. Test out your parachute design. After you've tested it out, there are some post-activity questions at the bottom of page three in your activity sheet. Answer those. After you're done answering those, hit play and we'll wrap up. Now that you've had a chance to test out your parachute, let's talk about what happened and what we could try differently. So you may have noticed slight differences in how it fell with a hole and without the hole. Um, and then again, you may not have noticed a lot of difference. It kind of depends on uh, your overall design. So think about some other areas uh, that you could test out with this particular activity. Uh, there are a lot of different variables. Uh, you could change the size of the parachute itself, the plastic bag. So instead of 14 inches square, maybe bigger or smaller, what would work better? Uh, you could change the amount of strings. Instead of using four, maybe you could try six or eight, or just two or three. You could try the uh, different length of string. So instead of 10 inches, uh, would it work better a little shorter or a little longer? So there are a lot of different things that you can test out. Now, in your activity sheets, be sure to check out on page two of the quick explanation section. There are some website resources there uh, with a lot of different information on parachutes and some other different design ideas. Be sure to take pictures of your parachute design. Post those in the comments below. Let us know how they did. Finally, be sure to check out the link to our virtual program website in the description below. Stay tuned for the next virtual set activity coming soon. We'll see you then.